BSc statistics students. So in this class, I explain one of the problem in chi-square test for independence of attributes. This is also a small sample test. You see the problem, problem number one. The two treatments uh, have applied on 500 agricultural plots and the data given below. Test whether treatments are independent. This is treatment 1, this is treatment 2. Two treatments have applied on 500 agricultural plots. So, in which uh, the data is given 208, 92, 32 and 168. So, this is the data is given according to treatment 1 and treatment 2, the data is given here. Okay, And uh, now you have to test whether the treatments are independent or not. So, for which uh, we have no option, we have only, we can apply the chi-square test for independence of attributes. Right? You see the problem? So, here all the problems are very, very simple. You have, you have to understand a, a kind of formula which is going to be applied and what to apply, when to apply, that's all. So, now you see null hypothesis that H0 treatments 1 and 2 are independent. They are independent and alternative hypothesis H1, the treatments 1 and 2 are not independent. That is all, it is very simple. Now, test statistic under H0, it is uh, uh, chi square is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to r, summation j is equal to 1 to s, y j minus e i j whole square by e i j. So, which follows chi square r minus 1 to s minus 1, this is uh, what you can apply or else for 2 by 2 contingency table, it is all already proved. It is already proved for, for example, you consider A, B, C, D, all the values, then this is the formula. These two are same. My dear friends, these two are same. You do not think otherwise. And this is the formula which is applied for A, B, C, D, 2 by 2 contingency table A, B, C, D. The formula is chi square is equal to n into a d minus b c whole square divided by a plus b a plus c c plus d and into b plus d which follows chi square r minus 1 degrees r minus 1 into s minus 1 degrees of freedom so therefore you observe this this is a tabulated or significant value and this is chi square calculated value so now you see if you consider the given data into two particular uh, form that is a and b two categories and uh, uh, let you consider a1, a2 here, b1, b2 here and let it, this is the uh, value, let us consider a, b, c, d, 208, 92, 32, 168, the values are given here. It is very simple, the 2 by 2 contingency table, it is called 2 by 2 contingency table, in which uh, you can consider that uh, this is if you a, b, a plus b here, you will get the totals row wise and column wise. A plus B, the total we will get here and C plus D here and uh, A plus C here, add total 208 plus 32, like uh, you add it, B plus D here, 92 plus 168 and uh, if you add uh, row wise or column wise, uh, you will get the total capital N that is 500, 300 plus 200 or 240 plus 260, both are same, you will get the same answer, that is capital N, A plus B plus C plus D. A plus B plus C plus D, sum of all the values, that is capital N. So, this is the way to form the 2 by 2 contingency table. The remaining problem is just application of the formula. The chi square is equal to N into AD minus BC whole square by A plus B, A plus C, B plus D into B C plus D. You apply N 500 into AD, A multiplied by D, 208 into 168, A into D minus BC 32 into 92 whole square divided by A plus B this is 300 and A plus C it is 240 and uh, uh, B plus D 260 and C plus D it is 200. So, the values you substitute all the values and get the value around is it is got uh, the value is uh, it is obtained 136.75. So, this is what the value you calculate and check it. You calculate it and check it and uh, finally, comparison and conclusion or inference in this particular part, uh, 
what you have to do is consider chi square first of all this is what the chi square 136.75 calculated value uh, and then uh, chi square alpha comma r minus 1 s minus 1 alpha is uh, level of significance it is not given therefore i am considering 5 percent and uh, uh, thereafter uh, r minus 1 s minus 1 2 in 2 minus 1 into uh, mm, 2 minus 1 it is not plus r minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 this is uh, therefore it is uh, uh, 1 1 degrees of freedom 5 percent 1 degrees of freedom cal chi square tabulated value that is from the tables of chi square it is 3.84 so compare these two that is uh, 136.75 and 3.84 136 is always greater than 3.84 therefore h0 is uh, that is chi square is greater than chi square 5 percent comma 1 which implies h0 is rejected so therefore the what is the uh, h0 is rejected means h1 is accepted what is h1 treatments 1 and 2 are not independent they are not independent the treatments two two treatments we have applied there in the 500 agricultural plots uh, uh, the treatments are not independent so this is what our conclusion thank you